entrance. No, I, I didn't. I know nothing about this. You've never been to Greenlawn Cemetery. I've never been to Greenlawn Cemetery. It's the biggest cemetery in Columbus. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's see, this is actually. Do you do you, do you know the history? No. No. That's all I know. <laughs> So uh, I saw that there was three things that we need to look for. There's um, the Hayden Mausoleum. Okay. The Huntington Chapel. I almost said Chapel. 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 <laughs> Chapel and Dr. Snook. Do you know who Dr. Snook is? No. Dr. James Howard Snook. Mm. More infamous than famous. Executed by electric chair after a gruesome murder. So, of course, the ghost story is going to be about that guy. Yeah. Because he killed somebody and then got killed by the electric chair. Okay, so I don't even know if I've been down this road. Oh. Um, is that part of the cemetery right there? Mm -hmm. That is it. Okay. Because yeah, we could get in, as long as it's open right up here. Oh, no, it's closed right there. We have to use the green lawn entrance, which is fine. And then the mausoleum. That's Hayden Mausoleum or Huntington Chapel. Okay. I'm sure, that's probably pretty extravagant. Just like you would imagine the Lazarus one would be as well. Mm. Are those technically mausoleums since you're buried above ground? I think so. Damn, look, that's a big ass. There's another this big ass mausoleum. Pillow. <laughs> it just seems a little excessive. Like you're dead, bro. Like weird flex. <laughs> <laughs> the chapel. This is Huntington Chapel. Oh. So, yeah, I guess. Because I've been to my uncle's and they had like the coffin in there mm. and then come out right to the cemetery. Dude, look at that. Look at that one. Let's, let's go check that one. Oh, so this is Hayden. This is one of them. Okay. Um, dude, that's so nuts. I wonder what his family you think would be in there, but still, dude, that's for one person. There are quite a few spirits roaming the grounds, including the Hayden Mausoleum. Oh, they got something set up those you can't even see in there. Like, I don't know if they're doing renovations in there or what. Mm. Well, we can walk around a little bit. Yeah. See if we can talk to somebody. Oh, well, this is Daniel Gary reporting live. Greenlawn Cemetery. It's my first time recording a cemetery. I feel a little odd. Not trying to disturb the dead. It's kind of a big deal. Like some type of marble stone in the pillars. They're doing some type of renovation and you can't really see through the doors. They have a tarp up. Behind it, there's some smaller mausoleums. Still impressive. They're just super small compared to this big ass one. Let's go in for a closer look. I mean, I don't think anything's gonna happen. There's a light outside. Hmm. When you walked around, what did you see? I was just admiring the architecture. The architecture. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely eerie being around it just because you know there's a coffin in there. I don't know if it's just one person or his family, but that's just, that's nuts that that's one, that's one person. It's like as big as a home. Maybe he was that important. Well, you would've had to been. You see the pillars? You see the marble? On the one in the middle and the one on the left, they just have the dates they were born. Like, they already have their headstone laid. They're, just They're not dead yet? No! <laughs> All right, so, Dan's ready to do his first uh, spirit box reading outside of the Hayden Mausoleum, because I keep forgetting that fucking name. This is supposed to be all static -y? Yeah, it's it's basically a sca it's a police scanner for ghosts. Okay. Can anybody hear me? I don't know how comfortable I feel fucking with the dead, honestly. You don't like doing it? Or no, you, it's all right. It's you don't like the idea? It's like an eerie feeling, though. Mm -hmm. Are they disturbing your sleep in there? If anyone's in here, show us a sign. The 
just like waiting for something to jump out at me, especially with this tarp right here. Trying to make out the ceiling. Not much. That's sweet though, that stained glass at the top of it. They're just chilling. They're just chilling? Yeah. Alright, let's go to the other um, the other place. Alright. Now we're going to the Huntington Chapel, which we actually already found, but didn't know that that was on the list of ghosts. So now we're here at the Huntington Chapel. So we're out front of the Huntington Chapel, and I'm going to do a reading. I got the EMF meter, EMF meter, and the S box, spirit box. It's for you, Kelly. All right. Shout out. All right. So, ooh, we got something there. That's country music. I'm going <laughs> to switch over to AM. So people have said that there are sightings around here at the at the chapel and at the mausoleum that we were just at. Um, it looks like this is where services might be held. Is there anybody that can communicate with us and tell us why you're here at the Huntington Chapel, the Huntington Bank Chapel? Did you, did you say five? Five doesn't make any sense. There are over 150,000 graves. There's somebody. Do I have to come closer? We can't come in. What was that? We can't come in. We can't come in. Can you say that again? I'm way better than Dan at this. Bro, it's my first time. <laughs> I'll call back. Do my best. Whoa. You see that? What was there? I see a lot of people here. I see Hill. I see a lot, I see more. There's a lot of there's a lot of history here inside this building. Can anyone talk to me? Normal. It's normal. 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 What's normal? I'm on this side. So I don't know what normal is. Can you tell me what normal is? What they say? You tell me shut up. I don't know. <laughs> Can you make one of the chairs move that's inside? Is there anything you'd like to say? You're not making the meter move at all. Let's go find... What's his name? Snoop. <laughs> Dr. Snooks, here we come. James Howard Snook. The name Snook was not used on the headstone. At the cemetery office, there was to be no mention of Snook burial site, of the Snook burial site. It was eventually given out in 2005. What? Section 87. Okay, so what I learned last time with Greg is that that's still really hard to find. Yeah, because we're at 47. We're at 47? And I'll suck with directions. Oh, thank you so much, man. You got a map? Yep. Got a map. You've seen some here? Yeah. Just we're... last night, actually, over there by, uh, so, Brown Road Gate, right? Mm -hmm. Back over this way? Yeah. i seen probably about a, eh, probably about 17th century dressed, got, like, long socks on, but the motherfucker hovered and was a, a, a a cloud of smoke. At night? At oh, night. Okay. I'm here till like three in the morning. Oh, okay. Day. Oh, so, damn. So I get a lot of weird shit. I'm I've friendly. seen a little boy sitting on the edge of that mausoleum. There's no way a little boy's gonna get up there and just, you know, sit. Yeah. And the way he was dressed, there's no way he's from our country. 
No, I believe you, man. I definitely. I've seen some creepy yeah. ass shit. I believe it. We're not gonna be able to find it because so he's where like, are we follow at? the red road. We're at 47. There's the chapel. Okay, and we gotta so get we're to here, and we gotta get to here. So you just went right on the main road, right? Mm -hmm. Go right right here. So this is 87. Okay, so we're actually right? sweet. Yep. Oh, what was this whole name? Because <laughs> they didn't put Snoop on there. No. Uh, James Howard. James Howard. All right. All right, we're looking for the grave of John Howard. Hopefully it's not too difficult to find. I don't know, man. Found him. Yeah. The infamous James Howard. Executed. We found James Howard. Very easily, Dan did it. I didn't expect to find him that abruptly, though. <laughs> so... Well, right we beat now. the deadline. We did. I'm standing at the grave of James Howard. He was sentenced to death by electric chair. So, trying to see if his spirit lingers on. James Howard. If you can hear me, show me a sign. This is for you, James. You think James is in the country music? I don't know. James Howard, can you hear me? Norman Frank Dean, can you hear me? Yes, Norman Frank Dean. We already... Do you not like being buried next to a killer? What? What did they just say? What did you say, Norman Frank Dean? I think that's who wants to talk, not the James Howard. Anything, anything else you guys have to say before we leave? He said no. He said no? I think so. Would you like us to leave? Norman Frank Dean, would you like us to leave? Oh, that was a hissy yes. Hissy yes? yes. Yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll right. leave. We'll Thank you. We'll let you be. Oh, look at that. It's still recording. What?